Hello, dears, and welcome to our um, Al Hosseini Virtual Lab series on pathology talks, tips, and practical tips. We're going to start actually with our first tip. What is the difference between lymphatic versus extramural venous invasion in the context of colorectal carcinoma? Now, lymphatic invasion simply implies the presence of a tumor emboli within lymphatic spaces. The lymphatic spaces can be in the submucosa or in the subserosal tissue or in the fat. They are usually thin walled blood vessels in which we see a tumor emboli. The, the, the vessel space is devoid of red blood cells, and this is extremely important to remember. Sometimes it contains lymphs in this instance. Uh, in particular, it does not, but I will show you in the upcoming um, uh, series some examples of how the lymph looks like within lymphatic spaces. Now, lymphovascular invasion would imply an increase in the risk for the development of lymph, lymph node metastasis. Whereas the presence of extramural venous invasion means that we have a tumor emboli within venous spaces. The venous space is usually thicker wall than the lymphatics. They contain red blood cells and they are seen frequently adjacent to uh, arteries. Now, in order to make sure that we're talking about extramural venous invasion and not lymphatic invasion, we can do the simple elastic stain. We know that arteries and veins contain um, elastic lamina. And so this black discoloration in the wall is um, um, a reflection of the elastic lamina. So the presence of this black discoloration means that we're talking about tumor emboli within the uh, uh, venous space rather than a lymphatic space. And the implication for this is different because extramural venous invasion means that there is an increased risk for the development of distant metastasis to the liver, to the lung, to the brain, to the bone. It depends on the setting. This is why it's extremely important to differentiate between lymphatic invasion versus extramural venous invasion in the setting of colorectal carcinoma. And this is, again, just to emphasize the importance of elastic stain in the setting of uh, um, colorectal carcinoma in order to uh, support the presence or absence of extramural venous invasion. Remember that in some schools, uh, patients will receive chemotherapy if the pathologist really mentions the presence of extramural venous invasion, even in the absence of an evidence of um, distant metastasis. I hope you find this tip useful in your practice. Thank you.